more leverage over the keys. So I'm going to try putting this bench up just a little bit for you. Um, go a little higher. You can use your weight into the keys a little bit more efficiently. Let's try that. See that goes. It's a little different. Yeah. You want to feel like you're up over the keys, just yeah. enough to distribute your weight. Yeah. So always feel free to take enough time to get comfortable with the piano when you start. Get the bench to your liking. Hey, very nice. Uh, so ultimately, I don't know how long you plan to keep this pace, but I would work toward getting a faster tempo that really feels like it's in cut time. You know, really jazzy, exciting. Something you could work towards gradually increasing. Um, the main thing that I noticed was the balance. Um, you have a wonderful bass. Steinway has a wonderful bass on it. I'm hearing it, and but unfortunately, it's it's kind of overpowering the right hand. So that'll be the biggest thing to focus on is the balance. Okay, getting a little bit more to the right hand, maybe can temper your left hand a little bit more as well. I was, I was trying to do that. I noticed that. You know, I remember the practicing not to do that, so I just started trying to make the left hand just a little bit more slide to the right. Right. Hand. right. But then also try to do a little more to your right hand. As well, yeah. Let's try again with that in mind, okay? Yeah. So you can shift the balance a little bit.
little bit in your right hand. <clears throat> Let's do the right hand by itself. A bit more um, isolated. <laughs> of a bass line at this point. Sort of a circle of fifths kind of thing going on. Okay, let's shift the balance there. I would exaggerate uh, pulling back on that left hand. I know it, we see F on the page and we think, well, it has to be F in the bass. No, that's just your overall effect, right? So if you're on a nine foot Steinway, which is known for having a huge bass sound, you could actually play mezzo piano in your bass line. You could play double forte in your right hand. You know, it's about the overall effect. And dynamics are all relative too. So as long as it sounds louder, then 
your mezzo forte section beforehand or your piano section beforehand, right? It's all relative, so uh, it doesn't have to be an actual forte mix, considering how much the piano is giving, all right? Look, so look at Zachary, try playing like piano in your bass, okay? And save the strings to the right. From the bass? Right from this section. little sections where he has these little short phrases that repeat, you know, and he comes back with a little echo. You can kind of be a little teasing with that. Can I have the piano for a second? Of course. Uh, thank you. You know, when you have these, uh, you could, you could uh, delay it with a slight rhythmic nuance, a slight synchronous, instead of playing it so directly on the beat, you know, just it's a little playful there, right? It's a lively version. I mean, this isn't a terribly live space. You'll be playing in some other halls that are much more acoustically reverberant than this. And so uh, it's always very sensible to put a little space before you have to pull back for your piano. Anyway, so here you can do even more to kind of capture the, the playful aspect of that, okay? so. this today but yeah, yeah. I strongly suggest it you know yeah again just so you have that awareness if it's a little stiff in the arm you know you don't need to do all that for this actually this is not technically that hard so loose arms gravity drops right Drop. if your arms and wrists are loose that's the approach you want to have instead of it's like you're kind of laboring it with a stiff arm and stiff shoulder a little bit Make sense? Yeah. Try it really slowly for me. I don't care about wrong notes right now. Just to focus on the gravity drop that I was talking about. I mean, as I tell my own students, just think of being forward a little bit. Keep the head in line with the torso. So just lean in a bit. And it's amazing, just an inch or two, just being forward, what that does for your sound. You know, so it's very easy. I'm sorry, I can, I'll show you one more time. So.
Getting a really exciting swell there at the end. Save multiple percent there, okay? All right, bravo. 